Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. Well, the coroner has identified a woman who was found dead in an apartment complex early Sunday morning. The coroner says it was 18 year old Genesis Rice. Simpsonville police say Rice was found inside her unit at the Jasmine Cove Apartments. The complex is located on Harrison Bridge Road. The coroner did not release the cause of death, but an autopsy is scheduled for today. mother of two in Simpsonville will stay behind bars. He was denied bond at a hearing this afternoon. Seven News reporter Taylor Farmer was there and tells you what happened in court. Simpsonville police apprehended a suspect on Monday wanted in connection of the homicide of 18 year old Genesis Rice. The Greenville County Coroner's Office tells us Rice was found dead at her apartment complex around 11 Saturday night. Cause of death was ruled as um, gunshot wound to the head and manner of death was homicide. Simpsonville police say the suspect is 22 year old Acavius Lindsay. Lindsay has been charged with murder, first degree domestic violence and possession of a weapon during the commission of a violent crime. Lindsay's bond hearing was held on Tuesday afternoon with Rice's family in attendance. Execute this. Execute my man. Who fought the love? How do I feel as a father? Giving my trust to a man I thought that was, that was going to protect my daughter. Rice's family tells us she was the mother of two small children. Lindsay and Rice shared one child together. I want you to know the very image of what you've done to Genesis. Not just what you've done to Genesis, but your own daughter. Lindsay was denied bond on every charge. On the charge of domestic violence, first degree warrant 2023A 2320402 no bond, bond denied. The charge of murder. 2023A 2320402 no bond, bond denied. On the charge of possession of weapon during a violent crime, 2023A 2320402220. No bond, bond denied. Lindsay is currently being held at the Greenville County Detention Center. In Greenville, Taylor Farmer, 7 News. And a court date for Lindsay's case has not been set yet.
Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.